Hey guys, Pokemon Crazy here, and today I'm going to show you a simple video on how to get free iBooks slash eBooks that you can put on your Kindle or your iPad or your Nook. That's the one I have. Barnes and Noble for the win. All right, first off, you're going to boot up Cydia. Um, just so you guys know, I'm recording the audio at a different point. I'm not, I didn't record the audio and the video at the same time, so I'm probably going to lag a little bit here. Um, I also cut the reloading data, so if yours takes longer, don't worry about that. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into manage, and I went to the wrong thing at there, sorry about that. You're going to go into manage, sources, and then you're going to go to edit in the top right corner, and then add in the top left corner. So you're going to want to add cydia.exalize.com. I'm going to add it. I already have it added, so I'm just going to cancel out. So uh, so there it is, Exalize. And you're going to want to go into the sections, and then you can see all the X stuff. But we're looking for X books today. So, we're, so I'm going to look for Harry Potter, because they have all the Harry Potter books. So... Um, I went into Harry Potter 1, but then I realized I already have that, so let's go into Harry Potter 2 and install that. I also cut the installing time because Cydia is a piece of crap while installing, uh, and after installing, so, because after installing, Cydia lags and you can't do anything, so, cut there, and then I cut here, so, again, don't worry if your iPod takes more, longer than that to download or boot up. So, so now there should be a web link that says the name of your book. So you're going to want to open that. It's going to open in Safari. Then there's a button that says open in iBooks, and you're going to want to tap that. Then iBooks should open up. And you're going to want to give it a minute or two. Um, and you'll notice the little, in the top left corner, edit has changed into... A loading bar and the loading bar is just that's just the progress of the installation period so and there we go Harry Potter book 2 the Chamber of Secrets so it's the entire book and I will show you that on my computer and ding computer okay so you're gonna want to open up your um, open SSH client or whatever you use or iPhone Explorer if you're using a USB cable. So I'm using WinSCP. So I'm going to log into my iPod and wait for it to load. And first off, you're going to want to go into the root of your iPod or iPhone or iPad and then go into the var short the shortcut. Now you know what temp TMP and there are your books my five books that I downloaded and there's the one I just downloaded for this video so I'm going to copy it to my ebooks folder on my desktop I recommend you get just an ebooks folder to put them in and there it is so I'm going to open it up and show you that it's the entire book I believe it's only 330 kilobytes so it's not going to take up that much space so that's a good thing so just give it a second to add all right, and there it is, Harry Potter, book two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So just going to open that up and show you. So, and now we're just going to scroll down all the way. And, yep. So now I'm going to uh, zoom in on the top left corner and show you that there is 535 pages, just like in the actual book. So and then we are going to do we're going to go back into our client here and I'm going to copy all my other books into my ebooks folder and now we're going to just wait and in a few seconds they, there, there they are so now you can read those and do whatever you want with them 
put them on your Nook, Kindle, whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. So the program that I am using for my ebooks, it's a great program. It's free. It's called Calibre. So, and it's a great program. I really recommend it. Keep all my ebooks on there and stuff. So yeah.